Uh, can you hear me okay? Okay. First of all, uh, I would like to thank you for coming here. Uh, my name is Apostolos Yanakidis. I'm, uh, I'm Greek and I'm sorry for my English. I'm, I'll try to be as clear as possible. Uh, so last, uh, last uh, summer I worked in a Google Summer of Code project uh, and I integrated the Apache Gora with the Oracle NoSQL database. Uh, first of all, how many of you do, uh, know what is Apache Gora, the project? None. Uh, second question, do any of you know that uh, Oracle has an uh, open source or a NoSQL database? You knew? You're my man. <laughs> okay, uh, a few words about me. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm uh, I was doing my master's degree while I was uh, doing the project. Uh, now I'm an Oracle software quality engineer, and I'm happy to be an Apache Gorda PMC member. Uh, why I chose uh, to work with this project? Uh, I was really interested. I, I, w I explored the relational world, the relational databases. Uh, so I was an expert in uh, uh, SQL, SQL as, the, as, as some call it. And I wanted to explore the big data world, the NoSQL no data uh, world, uh, what was uh, NoSQL. I had no idea. So I tried to search about this world and what uh, opportunities there are uh, in this uh, field. Uh, I realized that uh, there is no, uh, there was no uh, framework that, that does the same thing as uh, Hibernate does in the relational world. So. Uh, I tried to see if there is any project th that tries to do a similar thing. Enter Apache Gorda. Apache Gorda does exactly, like the, uh, exactly this. It's a persistence framework for NoSQL databases. It's not only that, that's the foundation. On top of that, it builds uh, tight integration with Hadoop, and uh, it does some other things that I'm not really aware of. I'm, uh, I'm aware I worked in the persistence layer of, uh, of Gorda. So uh, this was my motivation. Uh, Apache Gora, uh, as, it, uh, as I described, uh, is an in-memory data model. It persists uh, in uh, various uh, back-end NoSQL databases. Uh, so it doesn't matter in which, uh, which NoSQL database you, you will use uh, when you develop your application you might change it, in, change it in the future. As long as you, your dependency is Avro, uh, is uh, Gora, I'm sorry, uh, you can change the backend as easily as you want uh, without any uh, implications. Uh, Apache Gora uses Avro for uh, serializing the objects, and uh, those serialized objects are persistent in the backend NoSQL data store. Uh, and this is, uh, as it is now. In the future, we are thinking of uh, extending this uh, functionality and uh, use more serial, uh, serializing techniques. Uh, so the goal of uh, Gora is to become the, the standard data serialization, data persistence in, uh, in the big data field. Uh, it has already thousands of deployments, even though it's really, really new as a project. Uh, its current version is 0.3. And it has thousands of deployments, mainly because it's the main dependency of NATS. Do you know NATS? So what's NATS? Uh, it uses uh, uh, Gora. So the Oracle NoSQL database. It's a plain key value database, as simple as that. You have a key and you have a point, uh, it maps the value. Uh, it's written in Java and it is open source. Uh, it's, its license is HGPL version 3. However, its client uh, the, uh, driver is uh, Apache compatible. Uh, the key value pair is, as a concept, simple, but in, uh, in reality, they elaborated a bit more the key value, uh, the, key the key part, in order to provide more flexibility to the developer. Uh, what this means is means that it, it consists of a major and a minor key, uh, and the, minor, the major key could be multiple keys. Uh, we're talking about strings, Java strings here. So it could be multiple strings uh, or none. And the minor key, again, could be 
multiple strings uh, or none. Uh, it has AC transactions, which is really cool uh, compared to some other, uh, to the majority of the other NoSQL databases. And you can configure the consist consistency and durability as you wish. Uh, it is uh, also integrated to Hadoop and Avro. So it, it seems like a perfect fit for, uh, for a backend data store of, uh, of Gora. Uh, as it uses uh, Avro as uh, serialization. So my, my objective uh, was to, uh, to, to extend Gora to provide the capabilities uh, of persisting uh, objects in uh, Oracle NoSQL. Uh, why in Oracle NoSQL? As I described, it's, it was a perfect match, for, a very good match because of the technicality, technical uh, requirements, and because Oracle as you know, is the uh, software leader in, in, in the market, leader in the relational database. So you, you integrate with the software stack of Oracle, uh, in, uh, in other words. Uh, so I think, I think it would be cool. Uh, it, Hibernate, for example, has also, uh, uh, it's compatible with the Oracle uh, relational database. So why not the uh, Apache Gota? And I wanted to con contribute the open source community and the Apache community. I, it was my dream to contribute the uh, open source. So this is what I created during the summer, during last summer. Uh, this is the, the module, which is called Gora Oracle NoSQL or Gora Oracle. Uh, and uh, these are all the functionalities that are provided. Uh, I've implemented the result cache, which is in a beta version. And I would welcome anyone, any of you that might be interested in, uh, in uh, finalizing this feature which seems really cool, and we can do the same uh, feature, uh, apply the same concept on all the backend uh, Gora data stores. Uh, at the moment, only, only this data store has this functionality. Uh, how, I did the, how I implemented this, uh, I use, these are the main points that I want to uh, highlight here. Uh, I used the data bin uh, to map the Gora object to the Oracle NoSQL uh, data model. Uh, and I will uh, elaborate more on, on this. I used, uh, I uh, while I was implementing this, Oracle NoSQL didn't have secondary indexes. So I had to create my own. Uh, now, the, the latest version of Oracle NoSQL has this functionality. So in essence, I was working for nothing. <laughs> uh, in the new, when I update this module, I will uh, take uh, advantage of uh, the new features of Oracle NoSQL. Uh, in essence, I will take advantage of the secondary indexes. Uh, however, it was cool. I, I really like the fact that I had to think how a secondary index uh, mechanism should be, must be implemented. And uh, I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, in essence, what I want to convey to you is that uh, Participating in Google Summer of Code is uh, something, is an experience that you enjoy. You enjoy it because you, you create something that uh, it wasn't there before. You have to think about, uh, think about new things and, in essence, innovate. Uh, I had to, uh, because of how, the, uh, how Oracle NoSQL works, it doesn't preserve na key natural uh, short order. So I had to, do, to improvise here. So I, after some research, I saw that this algorithm, the encoding base 32 hex, uh, provides these uh, capabilities. So I, all my values, all the value, all the, I'm sorry, all the keys uh, were encoded to this algorithm before I stored them to the backend Oracle NoSQL. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I, all the operations and I mean all the operations uh, are, uh, CRUD, uh, depend, uh, CRUD, uh, are CRUD compatible. I mean that even a single uh, insert, update, delete, or a bunch of operations uh, are all CRUD compatible. Uh, if you want to uh, accumulate a lot of operations, you just accumulate them and at the end you, uh, you execute flash and the, the transaction is performed. And this is my, this is the, I believe the, the essence of my work. Uh, how I map the, uh, this is an Avro object, how it, uh, how Gora understands an object, and how it is mapped to the Oracle SQL, NoSQL. Uh, okay, you see here that uh, 
this is the major key and the minor key. And the major key has uh, various strings. Uh, I use two strings. One string is the, the, name of the, ob the, the name of the class. And the second is the name of the object, in essence, the key of the object, the identifier. And uh, all these are fields of the object. So you have various entries in the Oracle NoSQL, uh, various uh, key, key value pairs for a single object. And uh, each entry, each key value pair, each key value pair is, a, is a field of the object, of the object as God understands this object. Uh, some challenges that I had to, uh, to face during my project, uh, there was, I had no previous knowledge about the NoSQL uh, field. I had none at all. Uh, so I had to start from the scratch. I had to explore the whole field on myself. Uh, there, was, there were no books on uh, Apache Gorda and Oracle NoSQL. Now there is a book about Oracle NoSQL. Back then there wasn't. And uh, Apache Gorda still has no book. So anyone interested in exploring this project and writing a book is, uh, is welcome. Uh, it's, re it's really, really new framework, which means it's not as mature as other projects, which means that its documentation is in, uh, at some places it's inconsistent. Uh, the API is not very clear, and we had to communicate extensively with. Uh, uh, I had to communicate extensively with the community and my mentor Luis, who's attending here. Uh, <coughs> uh, I had to fix all of this to understand the whole concept and uh, move forward to my project. Uh, also, I had to create a, a NoSQL Oracle NoSQL embedded version. Oracle does not provide an embedded version, and, and this kind of server, this kind of uh, uh, um, server, the embedded version is needed by the, by Gora uh, for the uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong uh, for uh, executing the test cases. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, there was a major uh, incompatibility at the license, uh, as I told you, the Oracle NoSQL is AGPL version three. Uh, this was the case when I started the project, and uh, we didn't realize that these versions were incompatible. So all my work, work was for nothing, literally, because Apache couldn't release my, pro my project, my module, uh, because of this license incompatibility. Fortunately, uh, the product manager of Oracle, uh, I, I informed him about this, th uh, this issue. Uh, he told me that they are considering of changing the client license, uh, in the future, but uh, there was no promise. Uh, good thing for Oracle, uh, this time they took uh, some decisions very quickly compared to some other decisions uh, that for uh, some other products, and they changed the license really, really quickly just in just two months. So now, if you want to use it for your own projects, Apache projects, any Apache project, the, la the client library is compatible. Uh, some limitations that this module still has is uh, doesn't support Hadoop yet. This is something that I have to work on in the future. Uh, and uh, I persist uh, only keys. Uh, I, oh, the keys are, uh, have to be strings. The Gora framework allows keys to be of any type. Uh, and I, I didn't know that uh, at, the, at the very beginning of my project. Future things that need to be improved. Uh, I have to support, to support uh, Hadoop, perform some benchmarking in order to allow, to, in order to persuade developers to use, uh, uh, to use my module in production. They, they need to have some statistics before they use it in production. And uh, finalize the, uh, the result cache. As I told you, it's in beta format. Uh, final slide, I want to motivate you to join uh, the Gora community. Uh, let's make it, let's make Gora the standard in data, big data uh, persistence. As Hibernate is the standard in uh, the relational world, let's make Gora the same in big data and NoSQL. Uh, if you're interested in my uh, module, if you want to uh, explore it or extend it, this is the GitHub uh, link, fork it, uh, push, pull, do whatever you need to do. I would be happy to, uh, to see some uh, activity. And uh, if you want to learn more about Gora, this is the link. And if you're still interested about the Gora, the Gora project, uh, tomorrow two of my friends uh, are giving some
presentations here at the Apachicon. Uh, it's Renato, uh, 345, and Luis, who's here at 445, uh, who will talk more about some other aspects of Gora, not about persistence in uh, the, the backend persistence framework. Uh, this is from me. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, working for this project. And I thank you again for, uh, for coming here. If, <laughs> if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer. Okay, no questions. Okay. Maybe I, I did awful or very, very good. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>